Hey guys, this is iTechnical coming to you with my first video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a technique that I use to delete a virus or viruses from a computer. As a computer tech, deleting a virus is something you must know how to do because you have customers coming in every day with some kind of virus on their system and you have to be able to clean it out and get that system back up and running. In order to do this, I use three tools. The first one is called AVG. The second one is called malware bytes, and the third one is an online scanner. The first tool, like I said, is called AVG, which I'm currently using as my antivirus, and I have this program set to run at 10 in the morning. So every day at 10, it runs its scan on my computer to see if I have any viruses on it. You can download AVG and malware bytes from a website called download.com. So let's go there open up your web browser and on the address bar remove what's there and type download.com and hit enter it'll take you to download.com's home page and here we are this is the home page for download.com once you get there scroll down where it says most popular downloads there you see that AVG is currently number one and let's find malware bytes. Malware bytes is number seven. The procedure to download and install AVG and malware bytes is practically the same. So we'll do malware bytes for this tutorial. Click on malware bytes and it should take you to a page where it gives you some ratings and some descriptions how many downloads uh, it's had and just click download now once you click that you'll get this yellow bar up top just click on it and select download file once you do that you'll be asked what you want to do with the file that you want to download do you want to just run it do you want to save it or cancel it? To run it just means that it's it's just gonna download the file and run it. To save it means that it's gonna save the file on your computer and run it. And cancel, of course, isn't gonna download it. I already downloaded the setup this morning, so I'm gonna click cancel. But in your case, you can either choose run or save. I'll minimize this window, and uh, I have the setup for malware bytes here. I'll just double click on it to run it. And I'll click run right here. And you have to choose your language. And of course, I'm going to choose English. Click OK. Click next. Click uh, I accept the agreement. Click next, next. And like I said, this is basically what you're also going to do when you're installing AVG. You're just going to download it and just double click on it and run it run the setup and just follow through click next accept the, the agreement and just follow through so now I'm installing malware bytes okay there it's installed now in this window it is gonna ask me if I want to update malware bytes or launch malware bytes I'm gonna uncheck update since I downloaded this this morning so it it's pretty current and I'll just leave launch malware bytes checked just so I can show you what it looks like and here is the malware bytes one of my favorite programs to delete viruses because it's very effective and I use this a lot to delete viruses I always run the full scan because the full scan catches way more things items that the quick scan misses. So I'll keep that checked and I'll click scan. It's going to ask me what hard drive do I want to scan and I have my list of options there and I'm going to click C because it's my hard drive and click start scan. The scan is usually going to take around 45 minutes to an, hour, to an hour and a half so I'm going to go ahead and click abort scan. It's going to ask me if I if I'm sure I want to do this, I'll click yes. 
and when you run the scan and it finishes scanning your hard drive you get an option over here that says show results you'll click that and it'll, it'll give you a list of everything that it found any viruses or any infected files and then it'll give you an option or a button here that says to delete items and you just click delete items and it will delete those files or those viruses for you okay now for the third tool the scanner that I use is called ESET online scanner and to get there just open up your web browser again go to the address bar delete what's there and type ESET.com and when you arrive to the home page just scroll down uh, to the right you'll see this option that says ESET online scanner click that and yes accept to the terms of use click start and in order to run the scan you have to install the ActiveX control so we'll just click on this yellow bar up top and install ActiveX control it'll take it a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to install that ActiveX control and when it prompts us here do you wanna do you want to install this software we'll click install after the ActiveX control installs it'll basically just welcome us to the online scanner and we'll just click start after that it'll update the online scanner in case any new viruses came out once the update is done you have two options to choose from uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to remove found threats? And yes, we do. And scan unwanted applications. And we'll check that. We'll click scan. After we click scan, it'll start scanning our system. And, and this will take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on your hardware size or on your hard drive size. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And that concludes this tutorial. Those are the three tools that I use. I'll, I'll be posting the links on the description area so you can know where to download AVG Malwarebytes and also the link to the ESET online scanner. Well guys I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, please subscribe and if you have any suggestions of videos you would like me to post up or to make just uh, send me a message through YouTube. I have some videos coming up uh, on hardware components for example how to install power supply, motherboard, memory, a hard drive, and some software tutorials like going a little bit more in depth into AVG and Malwarebytes and other software programs and also maybe some unboxings and if I get a lot of questions or messages I might do a, a video on answering some questions just in case there's anybody else out there with the same question I can answer it through those videos Alright guys, well that's it for this one and uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.